Okay, folks, this is the longer version of a very cool tip and how it can actually save you money with LinkedIn. And you use this tip all the time with LinkedIn and without LinkedIn. Here's the way that it works. Most people realize that within Google, there's something called Google Images that I can get to from the Google homepage by clicking on Images. And if I then say something like dog, what Google will do is to show me a bunch of pictures of dogs. Oh, isn't that cute? All right. But here's the thing. There's also a reverse version of this that most people don't realize. If you have a picture like I do over in this right-hand window, and you take that picture and you click on it and then drag it over to the other window and leave it where it says drop image here and then let go, what Google will actually do is to take that picture, do a search on the Internet to see if it can find places where that picture exists and tell you about those pages. And most of those pages probably have some words describing what's in that picture. And in this case, it's a piglet squid. They even show you the Wikipedia page and a whole bunch of other pages that has a whole bunch of information about it. So if you have a picture anywhere and you want to see if it exists on the Internet, you can use this. Not only that, if you have proprietary pictures of your own and you want to make sure that nobody's using your pictures on the Internet, you can do the same thing couple of footnotes about this. Number one, the pictures don't have to be the exact same size. Google will actually uh, find pictures that are similar in size. Secondly, it's not always perfect. You have to obviously accept that, but it really can be amazing. Now, let's talk about how this is powerful for LinkedIn. Over on the right-hand side, I have a window where I did an advanced search, maybe for prospecting, and I was looking for VPs of sales in the Boston area. Note that it shows me some third level connections here, but it won't give me the last name. Now, I pay LinkedIn 25 bucks a month, but even with that, they won't show me this person's last name, and I have to upgrade to 100 bucks a month in order to do it. Here's how you can save some money. If you take the picture for this first guy, Tom S., and click on it, Use the same concept, drag it over to the window on the left, to the Google Images box, and then let go of the image. It'll show you the places where that image exists. And notice, one of them is Tom Schleister on LinkedIn. Not only that, if I click on that, it will actually show me his page. Now, LinkedIn blocks me from doing it if I do it within LinkedIn, but if you use this trick, you can still find what you're looking for and save yourself 75 bucks a month. Now, I think it'd be a nice idea if you sent me the 75 bucks a month, but you can do whatever you want. Couple of things. This doesn't work in every browser. I'm using a browser called Google Chrome, and the dragging does work in Google, Google Chrome. If you do it in other browsers, it's more complicated. Now, that's the quick version of how this works. I realize that was fast, but you can keep replaying it. And it's an amazing pair of tips that you can use together or separately, and you will use them a lot in the future. Good luck with it. Happy holidays.